The, my issue is his affect as an actor to me does not come across as genius, nerd, eccentric, arrogant intellect enough for me. And that is the genius that. in the and, the and that is the genius in the casting. I think Pedro Pascal can transform into that character. Pedro, yo creo en tu habilidad. <laughs> What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Dream Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Shows. Brian, the talk of the Fantastic Four has been out there for quite some time. For how many years, Brian? Would you say two years, maybe? Oh, Since they first talked about it? More than no, that? No, because if you remember, Fantastic Four, they first teased when they announced Phase Four. Remember that's the, the yeah, tag. Yeah, yeah. Remember that. Remember at the end of when Marvel yeah, said yeah, "see yeah, you yeah, at the yeah, movies." The end yeah, of yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the yeah, logo. Yeah, that's twenty twenty. Yeah. That's pandemic, like twenty twenty. Wow. Okay. And the news since that announcement haven't been announcements that have gotten me, Brian, excited about the possibilities. There have been there had been some. But none like these that I feel people are sort of, especially with Reed Richards, Brian. People are sort of there's, there's a there's a sort of polarization. I think there's people that don't agree with that choice, and people like myself who find it interesting. Uh, and we have Javier Bardem. <clears throat> Previously, it was uh, Antonio Banderas, which I found interesting. I can, it's me imagining him in the suit because we're not going to see that face. If they took right. his his thing, his mask yep. off, I'm out. Yeah, we'll talk about that. That's a whole other. Yeah, you have to view right. these these casting rumors. You have to view very differently because of the characters they're playing are physically so different. We got three of these to go through. All three characters totally different, visual. Vanessa Kirby. The possibilities of that there's there was uh, Ro Ro uh margot robbie which i thought sue storm submariner was shocked at, and he was like i gotta have i, I gotta I gotta talk to her. <laughs> I got, you know what i'm saying he wanted to kick it. johnny storm there were a bunch of names for that role and all the names i think brian that were thrown out there for that particular character I think could have done a good job this one is certainly interesting I'm looking forward to seeing that possibility and then Ben Grimm this guy Brian he was micro and Punisher uh, he's been on the bear he's he's he, he, he's all over the place and he's done uh, amazing job at each it'll be interesting how they make this look so, given all that, Brian, your thoughts on the possibilities and the rumors of who may be the Fantastic Four and Galactus. Okay, so let's go through what we've got just in terms of the news, and then we'll try to break down what we've got. So, Reed Richards, Pedro Pascal, perhaps best known right now as the voice of the Mandalorian, not necessarily the, the body of, but yeah, yeah. Vanessa Kirby rumored front runner also kind of threw some smoke on the, you know, into the play where she was asked at a press junket for Napoleon and gave a very unconvincing non-answer, basically saying, well, go talk to Marvel about that for Sue Storm. Um, Joseph Quinn rumored front runner for Johnny Storm and Eben Moss Bachrock. Rumor to play Ben Grimm. Now, Ben Moss Bachrock, actually, we we have some good things to say about him last year in Andor. He was uh, one of the he's one of the supporting characters on the planet, so it did a fantastic job in that role. So another Disney friendly guy, right? Between Pedro Pascal and this guy, you got two guys from the Star Wars universe who Disney's very friendly are familiar with. And then yes, this rumor of Javier, Javier Bardem as however Galactus is going to be portrayed. Yeah. Look, my number one, like when I saw these, was the age. I, I oh. never expected the age of the the actors. I ne like 
So Vanessa Kirk, like Vanessa Kirby is the you believe I'm gonna check on Joseph Quinn's age, but Pedro Pascal is 48. Yeah. That is much older than I would have expected for a starting point for a Reed Richards. Again, these mm-hmm. are parts you expect to play for 10 plus years if things go well. Mm-hmm. I, I was taken, I thought we were for sure getting younger incarnations of these characters. Yeah. So that would imply they're kind of going, they will be the first family in the movie when we meet them. Maybe there's flashback to younger versions of them, but uh, that was my first take. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of mixed. Like this one is all over the board for me. I mean, you you, you can kind of go through, maybe your, give your levels of anticipation. Sounds like you're higher on Pascal. Maybe start with Pascal. I, you sound higher on him than I. I'm kind of down on this This as a rumor. I'm hoping this is not true. Most of the, the people that I've spoken to have spoken about it in a, in a sort of uh, hesitancy and, and leaning towards the negative uh, with the, the, the possibility of him being Reed Richards. To me, I find it interesting, Brian, because initially you and I were thinking about Reed Richards being African American, right? Being because Jonathan Majors is the descendant. So, you know, all the stuff that goes along with casting this. Who were the individuals before Pedro Pascal were, were, were rumored to possibly taking on the role? Well, Adam Driver. Right, that was a leading one for a while. That Adam Driver, Brian, what do you think went, went down with that? Who knows how far that got? Could have been Price. I mean, Adam Driver's you know pretty big time star now these days. He strikes me. I don't know if you saw his. Did you see his thing at the at the Ferrari press junket? You saw that act where the guy asked him about the car crashes, looking kind of unrealistic. Yeah. I think that might tell you a little something about why Marvel might be hesitant to get in the Adam Driver business. He is an incredibly serious actor, which is code for <laughs> he can be very difficult potentially to work with, despite his talent. Yeah. You know, the Pascal, the Pascal rumored to me, you know, like we we had floated that, yeah, that the idea that they would change the ethnicity of Reed from the comics. And Pedro Pascal would do that, right? He, he's not Caucasian, he's not Caucasian, he's a, he's a Latino actor. Um, so maybe that hurt Driver as well. Maybe they were looking, maybe they were and are looking for a Reed who is not Caucasian. Obviously, the fan casting of John Krasinski long ago, as we said, the second they did that fan service in Multiverse of Madness, that ended that. And that <laughs> seems to be. That was be it. The that case. was it. I'll be interested to see if this does, like, of the, whether, whether we go four for four on these rumors. But Pascal, the, my issue is his affect as an actor to me does not come across as genius, nerd, eccentric, arrogant intellect enough for me. And that is the genius that. in the and, the and that is the genius in the casting. I think Pedro I think Pedro Pascal can transform into that character. Okay. That's why I'm, I'm skeptical. But okay, that's it. I think that's it. Like if you can't do that, the character's not gonna work. So Pedro. Yo creo in tu habilidad de hacer ese papel. <laughs> Vanessa Kirby, I'm all in. Yeah. That's a 10 out of 10. I think she's I think she'll do it. I think she would do it better than Robbie would have. Yes. I really and do. And she certainly fits the yes. She's yes, striking. Absolutely. I have no blonde. problems with that. She can do the action. Just watch yes. her. What I mean, I don't care what you think it's about Hobbs. Yes. I don't care what you think about Hobbs and Shaw kicks ass in that yes. movie yes. mission impossible she has a little bit of action in that movie she's fantastic at it yes she i, I, I will think she be can great. be i think she can be one of those characters uh that's a fan favorite for yes. both men and women yeah i'm that's a 10 and the rumor is robbie was about price they couldn't afford her I think that's. I think that's a win. I think that's a win yes. for all parties if yes. if that's true. So I'm all in yes. on that casting. Quinn, I don't have an opinion. I don't know if you have a strong opinion. I, I just am not as I'm not familiar enough with his work from things like Stranger Things or some of the other things he's done. To I say think he that did he a good job. And, yeah, yeah. I think he did a good job in 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 that. Uh, and Johnny Storm is a wild card, and yeah. he and this guy played a. Certainly an unpredictable type character where you didn't know 
not necessarily that Johnny Storm is a villain, but he's certainly he's certainly unpredictable, right? And I think he can do that as well. Again, the visuals are not in his control. That's Marvel's that's Marvel's troubled VFX department's issue. So to me, it's really two things. It Johnny Storm is an attitude, and then Johnny Storm is a chemistry with both with his sister and then with the other family members more than any other. He's the lightning rod. Uh, if they do, if they do, if they follow the comics, right, where he embraces the celebrity and he loves that, like yeah. it really is more about that than it is about anything physical because that's going to be post production type stuff. So it could work. I don't have a strong opinion either way. I'm fine with it, and I think quite honestly, if you get Kirby. It will help Quinn. That's my like view. Of, I think she will probably lift anybody that they put in that role. Um, yeah. I, I really believe that. And then yeah. Evan Moss Bachrock, I like it. I, I, you know, it's not as big of a name, but he is like a character actor who always delivers. He's definitely a that guy like that everyone would know on site, but would never have been like, oh, I know that's Evan Moss Bachrock. I mm-hmm. think he would be a really good choice, yeah. certainly compared to some of the higher profile names, you know, early on that you know kind of got loosely rumored with this and i think he would certainly do a better job than um uh, either jamie bell or or michael chiklis did oh uh, yeah 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 i i agree my only interest with the thing is is how how they're gonna make him look for uh i'm comparing him to what we've seen which i didn't think they were that bad brian not for the um, time but man. i think this would have to be a little bit I don't know. I don't know what sort of performance it, it will have to be in order to be better than those. Um, but it, they don't. Ha- there's not a big high bar to overcome. No, but this is one where, character. like, I be. I, I think where you the question you're asking that's the right one is how practical, how computer. I think that's. Yes. I would lean practical, to be quite honest. I would not go heavy CGI on, on this. Uh, ben Grimm is a rock. Like, make it look like <laughs> a rock. I mean, like, you know, make it look tangible, physical. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but I, I like the casting. I think I think the personality can can really work. So to me, it's Pascal is honestly the one I'm most skeptical of of these four. I know you are clearly higher, but I'm most excited about Kirby. Most Bach Rock second. Quinn, I'm kind of in the middle, and Pascal, I'm skeptical. That's kind of how I slap this. And uh, by them, <clears throat> listen, the voice is great, right? Which you could probably argue is the number one thing this character has to have, which is why the Banderas rumor wasn't totally outlandish. You're looking yes. for a character who can sound incredibly serious, incredibly intelligent, and incredibly menacing all at the same time. Yes, Harvey R. Bardem can certainly do that. Um, yes. Feel free to watch Skyfall anytime you want to watch Bardem as a truly sinister crazy villain no that is an country the old, for old men that's the way for no country for old men exactly <laughs> that is Ooh. uh so then it comes down to as you said the stuff that is kind of not in his control i assume it's motion capture as opposed to pure cgi but that's on that's on marvel that's not on him like i think as a performer like he he's an interesting choice i think the part that's not filled in here that would also affect my view of the casting is who is playing Norrin Rat, right? That's the other who's playing the well, Silver Rat is not supposed to be in this. I know, but like over time, those two are so close that I feel like based upon who you cast in that role will affect how I think about the execution of, of Black. I'm impl- yeah, listen, man, I'm imploring the MCU not to go forward with Galactus being the first villain, man. I agree with that. Galactus arriving to Earth without the Silver Surfer? To me, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. What Then what would be the reason why the Silver Surfer returns to Earth after that, right? Yeah. That's my whole thing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you take the mask off of Galactus to show Galactus nope. to, to Javier Bardem. I'm out. No, that that would be like um, that'd be like Stallone taking off the helmet and Judge Dredd in the first this five is... minutes. And you're just like you have no understanding of what this character is supposed to be. Yeah. Actually, it just uh, happened. You know when it just happened again? It happened in the Halo series. Which I made it through oh, all yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 but Pablo yeah, Schreiber, I, I didn't and watch he's it. the helmet off, and you're like, why Master Chief walking around with the helmet off <laughs> like episode two? I'm like, 
<laughs> yes, that's just like a that's just like a, an ego thing, right? It's like I have to show my face. Like, no, you don't. No, you nah. don't. Like, nah. understand the character. Yeah, just um, like so. So watch just dread. No, not no dread. Or which one was it? Dread, was it dread? the urban one, dread, where he the, doesn't the, take Carl, the helmet off. Keith, Keith yes. Urban. Oh, uh, Carl, 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 Carl. Yeah. <laughs> get it fixed up. <laughs> um, uh, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of these possibilities and 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 why do you believe that Pedro Pascal is not a good choice? There's people out there that are really feeling this possibility, man, and I think is a good possibility. I think Pedro Pascal is one of those dudes. That can that can transform and okay. and give us that type of performance where I can say, yes, that's I, I believe that to be Reed, Reed Richards. One plus one um, for this movie is if folks have caught the first couple episodes of Monarch, Matt Shackman directed those. So our director for Fantastic Four did the direction for and is on production for the Monarch series. I think he did an outstanding job. Uh, my personal opinion is the way those two episodes look, the way the characters are being developed early, I was impressed. And if that's our director, that gave me a little more hope as to how he might go about executing. Fantastic. And Brian, he said a lot of very positive things that gave me uh, a sense of calm and relief as to the direction he's thinking about going with the Fantastic Four. I don't know if you caught his interview, uh, but he says some really good things about how he wants to approach the Fantastic Four and tell the, 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 their story. So, so far, Brian, I'm excited about um, what he'll bring to, 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 to this IP. And finally bring it out the dumpster it's been in for so many years. Well, that would so be ironic if with the state of the MCU, if this actually turns out to be like a turning point. Because this would be one where I would have said they're up against it to begin with. Yeah. So to me, in my opinion, if this is the cast, I am I am uh uh very excited for the possibility of what could, this could be in terms of the performances of each of these characters and where it goes forward my only concern brian again is that they're revisiting the galactus story that's my only concern right there yeah i agree that's my only concern let us know in the conversation below what you guys think and we'll see you next time on the nerd report the show goes on yeah!